Hello everyone, welcome back to GED. So we're gonna do the standard talkie talkie and then a few missions. But um I'm not gonna be talking in this one, so just sit back and enjoy the gameplay and the missions and you know, progression. Hello again, Marelda. Still people watching? There you are. I was starting to think you'd miss lunch. I didn't know we had plans. All that time in Freemark? You haven't had a home-cooked meal in years. The Kyler I knew never turned down grilled gazic. Kyler? The name I gave you the day I brought you into this world. No wonder I never heard from you. The anthem must have set a few screws loose. You seem a little tired. Maybe think about getting some rest? Rest? You finally come back, and that's how you apologize. Mom, go take a nap. Well, it's just that... It wasn't easy, Kyla. Everyone told me you were dead, but deep down, I knew if you loved someone enough, the anthem of creation would make it right. Somehow it would bring my son back to me. If it hadn't, I couldn't live without my boy. I think you're confused. I'm not your son. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have your father's sense of humor. All his pranks uh, drove me nuts. This isn't a prank. You're mistaking me for Kyler. Don't get smart. I waited years for you to come back. And if you hadn't, I can't live on hope anymore. No point in going on. If it isn't you, I'd rather be dead. You have to accept that Kyler is never coming back. Freemark was 10 years ago. If you haven't heard from him since... But... I... I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. I don't know. Dead? It... It can't be. You're a liar. I'm afraid not. I'm so sorry. He's... All I had. My boy. Please leave. I need to be alone. Of course. I'll let you be. Ten years? I miss so much. Freelancer, look who I found. Cordea Dell. I'm told I owe you my freedom. I have to ask, what was it like in there? A kind of twilight fog. But at least I wasn't alone. And you haven't aged a day. <laughs> we had no sense of time passing. It's hard to explain. I experienced my past, present, future. Oh, finally, there you are. I was so worried. Beautiful. Amazing news. You're fifth in line for the throne of Antium. What? I abhor gossip, but apparently the Emerald Abyss has captured several people with claims to the throne. Now that everyone's back, they've had to completely rearrange the order of succession. Am I still third in line? Oh, goodness, no. Twelfth. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm sure this ordeal has been exhausting, and you're keen to get home. My luxurious strider is at your service. Uh... Didn't you hear? Your uh, strider caught fire at the docks. What? Big fancy, engulfed in flames. That yours? <laughs> so, you were saying? Yes. This is gonna sound a little crazy. She saw the future. You and the freelancers are legends. It's not that crazy. Maybe. Now that I'm free, those memories are fading. But I do know, you change things for all the freelancers. Good, bad, I don't know, but... Don't worry, I'll be there with you. And you're gonna teach me to be a cartographer. That's a hard life, Dax. Look what happened to me. Psh, I'll make new mistakes. This is who I am. <laughs> Your parents will be so angry. Don't worry, I've got a freelancer. Thank you for everything.
So, when do we start? Start? My cartography lessons. Oh, Freelancer. Great timing. I've been thinking about Shaper relics. Where is this heading? All that Shaper energy sloshing around keeps activating relics, or reactivating them. It never ends. We really need more experienced Lancers keeping them in check. Should I just warm up my javelin now? <laughs> well, if you have time to stop the Shaper menace. Hey, Bren. Hmm? Oh, Freelancer. Hello. Everything okay? You seem preoccupied lately. It's not like you. What? Yes. No, just... distracted. I can tell you're hiding something from me, Bryn. I'm not lying. It's nothing. It's just... Uh, I'm writing... And it looks like it's troubling you. I'm writing stories. Uh, what? Oh, for the love of all Gazics. I'm... Have you ever heard of the Crimson Lancer? The radio show? It's one of Halleck's favorites. You know it? Who's your favorite character? Wait, forget I asked. I don't want to ruin this already tenuous friendship. So what does this have to do with your writing? Sometimes the show just doesn't go the way it's supposed to. When my brain needs a rest from my work, I rewrite the show. Myself. So it's better. But why not just add to it? Why change it? I suppose... Things can't always go the way I want them to, here or in the field. But when I rewrite the shows, everything goes exactly according to plan. My plan. Does anyone else ever read it? My work is very well received. By whom exactly? I have no idea. I post them on a board downstairs under a different name. I get the most appreciative letters from Crimson Dancer 69. You've got to let me see them. They sound excellent. If you find the board, you too can send feedback. Unless you think Onsen dating Kista is a good idea, then I don't want to hear it. You, or you, freelancer, listen, this is important. The anthem spoke to me. Freelancer, my husband Leighton said you spoke to him. Right, the spy. Who defected. I'm sorry I didn't mention that. I only see him as Leighton. I forgot his past can still scare people. Seems like it's still scaring him, too. That's the problem. Tassin had me debrief him when he came over. It was clear right away that his work for the Dominion, it left him a shell. I've been hoping he can reinvent himself here. It'd be great if there was a button you could push, erase the past, make it all go away. But it doesn't work like that. I have no illusions. The things Leighton did will never change. But maybe how he feels about them can. What did he do? He inflicted a lot of pain. Against us. And his own people. If it was so bad, there should be consequences. Prison, something. I understand why you feel that way. But he risked his life coming here. We couldn't punish him for it. If we did, nobody would ever defect. You'd rather use them. He gave us years of Dominion intel. And apparently along the way he fell for you? <laughs> I was just doing my job. Debriefing the enemy. Except now you're married to him. I saw who he really was. Haunted. Not exactly love at first sight. No. But he was haunted by the ghost of the better man he might have been. I've seen that man. It's in him. He grew on me. I guess spies have their own strange way of falling in love. Love is messy for us. Leighton and I can talk about things that would scare the daylights out of civilians. We've both done things in the line of duty we're not proud of. I guess it just works, but I'm worried about him. More and more, he wants to be alone. Any idea what's bothering him? He's talking to himself, sometimes in his sleep. I don't know what it means. I want to help, but he just waves me off. Well, he seemed okay talking to me. Maybe this is an opening. I'd really appreciate if you kept at it. I'll see what I can do. Hey, I am so glad you came in today. 
Hi, Amal. What's up? Thanks for asking. I want to run something by you, if that's okay. Do I have a choice? See, that's why I value your advice. You're smart. Your suggestion for dealing with that aggressive lady was perfect. She told me she respects me now as a bartender. That's great. But now, I want to ask you about a woman who moved in across the lane from me. Her name's Karila, and she's really nice, and I kind of like her a lot. So what's the problem? Okay, she says there's a package coming for her, and if she's not home, will I look after it? What did you tell her? Here's the thing, she's beautiful, but mysterious, so I never gave her an answer. What do you think I should do? I don't know. I'd find out what's inside the package before taking it. That's what I was thinking. Better to be safe than sorry, right? I was worried her friendliness and looks and dark, smoky eyes were affecting my decision-making. They probably still are. <laughs> you are so right. They, they probably still are. Thanks for the advice. I'll let you know what happens. You're welcome. Can I order now? Ah, <laughs> oh yeah. That's probably why you came in here. Gateway's not opening. Check the connection to the crown. Everything is clear. There's got to be a glitch in the core. Do you see anything? It looks fine. No, no, no. You got to hit it a couple of times. You think I can literally smack sense into it? Trust me. It's an old freelancer technique. Halleck. I got this. <clears throat> Halleck, how's that connection now? Nothing. I can't run it. So take another look at the crown. Something must still be busted. I've been over this a thousand times. I swear it does it to spite me. Halleck. Maybe it's not the javelin. This hunk of junk's putting our whole plan in danger. I'm gonna have to delay the mission until I get it working. Halleck. I can find other lancers to come with us. Don't worry. How many freelancers went into that storm with us? You need everyone you can get back in you up in there. Halleck. I'll either get this damn thing to run, or I'll melt it down! I'll make a real big paperweight! <sighs> Halleck! How long has he been doing this? Daily, at first. Then once a month. It's been half a year since his last try. That long? It isn't the javelin, is it? No! Sometimes he can almost control it. Sometimes, nothing at all. It's been a hard wait. A hard wait for what? Twenty-three! What? That's how many freelancers went into the heart of rage at final time. Twenty lancers and three ciphers who were left catatonic by the anthem. No one else wanted to try again after that. Not that I blame them. No one but me and Halleck. <laughs> he used to be the best. You were there. You were there. You remember. I remember. Every single thing we lost. I heard it. For just one moment in the storm, I heard the anthem. For one moment, I understood everything. Now, every moment of every day since, I've heard whispers calling me back, pulling on me like a thread unraveling. Faith. I'm glad you're here. I'll leave you with him.
The day has finally come. We have all we need to find the manuscript. This is extraordinary. I can't stop pacing. Let's find this tower you mentioned. Yes, the tower. This is amazing. about this tower. The records describe it as a marvel of architecture that touches the clouds. Okay, looking for a very big tower. Ah, uh, nice. There's nothing here. Where's the tower? Oh, it's been a long time. This can't be. This is a... Oh. Oh, my bad. I misread the numbers. At least the correct location isn't far. <sighs> some Arcadist ruins. A very good sign. They could point the way. So, where's the tower? I don't know. Our only hope is to find those ruins. Find them and I'll see if they contain clues to a location. Half of this is missing. So will this map point us to the tower? I don't know. I'll keep working on it. There's a part of the map here, but most of it is wrong. Some landmarks are the same, some are different. Only one thing causes that kind of change. A cataclysm. Why didn't I see it? I think I've worked out a location, though. On my way. I'm as confused as you. Found it. his marker. It must contain the rest of the map.
The message is clear if you know what you're looking for. What does it say? It points to a hidden chamber, deep underground. So, underground chamber, and only by invisible runes, written in a secret language. Can't be too careful. Time for a swim. You sure about this? It's here. I'm certain. Just be careful. It's all proven that very powerful people wanted to keep this secret. Understood. This would have been impossible without your help. The animals, this water, all of it. Impossible. Let's see what we can find. There never was a tower on the mountaintop, was there? All that stuff was to hide something important. Well, you can't be too careful. place of the Elysian Manuscript. There's some kind of energy barrier here. A final measure of protection. Blast. And, uh, I think I provoked something. Something real big. Elementals, watch out. This has to be the most ridiculously protected book ever.
Be careful. Not the time for careful. Manuscripts, but this sure looks right. Nice. You there? Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm just. I'm so rarely at a loss for words. I. Thank you. This means so much to me. An end to one chapter of my life, and the beginning of another. We got a problem. When you say problem, you don't mean... We need to talk. 
Well, that's ominous. The Dominion forces are converging on the Heart of Rage. The Monitor is making his move, even if it costs him an entire army. You're out of time. I need a solution. I got the seals ready, but they don't work. Explain. Everything is a spec, but they don't activate and hell if I know why. Something's missing from the design. There is no time for this. I am two seconds away from sending every Sentinel in the fort after the Monitor. You can't send them. You know what happened to the Freelancers. It'll be a bloodbath. Their sacrifice could save everyone else. We are all dead if the Monitor succeeds in weaponizing the Cenotaph. Their deaths won't stop the Monitor. You know that. Too many lives are at stake for me to do nothing and just hope that the three of you get your shit together. I just hold them back a little longer. I'll get the seas to work if it kills me. You'd better. They can race the Monitor through the storm and wind, but the Sentinels will still fail. They have no training with Shaper Relics, no knowledge of the Cenotaph. We do. We spent years on this. We're the only ones that can end this cataclysm and you know it. Give us time. Look, you two called me for help. I could have left you at Princess Zim's court. Don't make me regret that. Now, the lives of everyone in the fort and all of Antium are hanging by a thread. You have until the transport striders arrive. Get it done. What is she talking about? What well, call? Mine. Corvus didn't track you down. You contacted them. We were getting so close to the Anthem. And once we'd finished Sim's job, we'd need a freelancer. I am a freelancer. No, you're not, Halleck. Not anymore. You and your damn pride. You were never going to admit you couldn't run a javelin anymore. Or ask for help. For two years you promised we'd go back into the heart of rage. Two years. And every day, wait till it's longer because you had to do everything yourself. And if you couldn't, nobody could. You think I can do it? You so damn sure? I know you can't. Both of you, stop. We don't have time to waste fighting each no. other. No. We don't. Get out of my way. Alec, wait. He has to face reality. I'm not getting into this. He's probably gone to work on his armor. Just bring him back and we'll take another look at the seals. I shouldn't have said that. Primed. That's my target, Bryn. A Strider crew spotted Shamer fragments in the wilderness. Go out and collect them. Okay, on my way.
Okay, uh, get those fragments. Just very, very quickly.
You have our thanks. This will really make things easier for the fort.
All right, guys, to round out the last of this little episode, uh, we're going to be doing the roundup quests, talking to everybody. So if you don't like that sort of thing, you can jet out right now. Hi there, Meralda. Mm, sorry. Feeling a little tired today. Insomnia. I thought it would get better with you back, but I didn't sleep a wink. You okay? Just thinking. I used to sketch you and imagine the conversations we'd have when you returned, Kyla. How did it go? I never knew where to start. How did it happen? When? How long were you out there? Were you hurt? Did the anthem bring you back? I don't think the anthem has anything to do with this. Of course it does. Everything in this world happens because of the anthem. And that includes you. So what did you see out there in the world? I met people who need a little help. Got lost along the way. I stopped to talk to them. I knew I'd raised you right. You see someone in pain, maybe sad or down on their luck, and you lend them a hand. I'm doing what I can. Though it seems like you put on a few pounds since I last saw you. Hey! I'm your mother. I get to be honest with you. Now, you be honest with me. Why didn't you come back sooner? Why make me wait all those years? I'm sorry this is so painful and confusing for you. Just so much doubt and worry and... When you were hurt... I tried to... Hurt? When? There was nothing I could do. Your father and I... We... We... Forget it. It's nothing. The anthem brought you back. And that's all that matters. Now, I'm tired. Let's talk another time. Hope you feel better. Looks like you found a place for your new book. I've barely taken my eyes off it since you brought it back. It hints at so many possibilities. New runes, lost relics, forgotten inventions. It's amazing. Just don't blow your lab up. No promises. What's next for you? Study. I spent so much time looking for the Elysian Manuscript and not a moment on what to do after finding it. That's a good kind of problem. Very much, but I'll still need your help on a thousand things outside the wall. Of course. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm reading about how my forebears use hidden resonance layers to embed information. I'll let you get back to it then. Thank you. And Freelancer? Thank you. Hey, I was hoping you'd drop in. Here I am. Remember I told you about Karila and that package, and you said don't take it if you don't know what's in it? Yeah. Okay, so she wouldn't tell me what was in it, so I didn't take it. The next morning, her door's wide open, and I see some guy with a death grip on her arm. So I walk over, you know, just to see if everything's all right. Then the guy tells me to walk away. I thought, Karila needs my help, so I say, I don't think so. That's when I notice he's holding a knife. He comes at me, and then Karila kicks him in the stomach and jumps on his back. Before I know it, she's got the knife, and he's holding his neck. He takes a couple steps and slowly sinks to the ground. Then Karila gives me a look, starts crying, and says, please help me. So now she's in my apartment with the package, and across the lane, there's a dead guy in her place. The Sentinels might think you're involved. You need to get her and the package out of your place. <sighs> okay. Okay, thanks. I owe you big time. Get to it. Forts filled with strange stories. What happened to 
Starts here. Can't even comprehend. They should have kept the the crown and signet name. It had class, you know. One lousy week. Leighton, how are things? Do we know each other? Uh, I'm a freelancer. We spoke before. You told me you defected from... Of course, of course. I'm sorry, I remember now. My wife wants me to make new friends. I'm not doing a good job of it, am I? You okay? I don't think so. No, there's a fog. Too much time thinking about the past. It might help if you talk about it instead. I was a different man back then. Your opinion of me, it will change. I won't lie, I could. But I've seen my share of rough stuff in the world. Try me. I was a Dominion cipher, a surveillance tool of the state, directed against our own people. I tracked their movements, their plans, their sedition. I was very good at this. I was the unseen hand keeping the flock in line. When I caught one straying, they died. Many strayed. That couldn't have been easy. Easier than what came next. I also had physical talents, strength, agility, marksmanship. The Dominion put these to use. I was sent abroad on missions. I hunted enemy ciphers, then mentally tortured them to extract information. They begged me to end their agony, which I did, putting a bullet in the source of their pain, their skull. There were so many of them, I lost track. So, what do you think of me now, freelancer? I'm glad I never crossed your path. That was frightening. I frightened myself. I was ordered to kill people, and I never questioned it. I can see why your wife is concerned about you. More than anything, I want to be the man she thinks I can be. The other day, I helped a woman and her boy churn some butter. It was simple. It was real. It's the life I want. What's holding you back? The memories don't just vanish. Your wife mentioned that you've been talking to yourself? The curse of being a cipher. It's, it's all a jumble. A single word could lead to a memory, and then another I thought I'd forgotten. When I'm thinking, I don't realize it's out loud sometimes. What's bothering you? A name. A woman. Aurora. It keeps repeating. She was... Damn headache. I... I can't remember. It's okay, if it's too painful. Aurora is expendable. Collateral damage is acceptable. The state has decided. The state has decreed. What? I... I, I don't know. It's a memory. I, I don't know who she was or what I did, but... I can feel it. Whatever happened with her, I think it's tearing you apart. <laughs> can I ever be whole again? Talk to your wife. Nadira could help. She's worried about you. No, the shame. I, not until I understand this. I need some time to think. I understand. Freelancer. Checking up on us? Thought I'd see how the cartography lessons were going. Amazing. Apparently, I'm a natural talent. A natural talent with a lot to learn. Dax can do it. Especially with your help. Not to pander to my niece's ego. But she's teaching me as much as I'm teaching her. I am? Of course you are. Experience isn't everything. New blood is important. Working with you, it reminds me of my student days in Heliost. Heliost? Aunt Cordea, you studied in Antium. What? No. I'm certain I spent eight years in Heliost. It was a long time ago. Maybe you misremembered, Dax. No. I remember visiting as a child, and I've never been to Heliost. First time I left Antium was to come here. I do remember you visiting. You brought me flowers. I... I need to lie down. 
Aunt Cardea. It's okay, Dax. Let her rest. Please excuse me, freelancer. What have you been up to? You'll love it. Okay, it's called the Manifold. Well, technically I call it the Manifold. And it does what exactly? For years, I had heard of a type of shaper relic that was able to amplify and augment the qualities of other objects. Never encountered one, never knew anyone that had, but thanks to the Elysian Manuscript, I think I know where one is. Right here in Bastion. And you think it'll amplify and augment the power of my javelin? Precisely. Excited yet? Uh... Not to worry. Once we find the manifold and get it working, you will be. Guaranteed. First, the manifold. Then, we boost your javelin. You silence the heart of rage, and boom. Everyone lives happily ever after. It's a little more complicated than that. Ah, details. I've sent all the particulars of the location to Faye. I can't wait. Hey, I'm at the Enclave. No sign of Halleck. Catch him before he does something stupid. I'll ask around. Lucky Jack. You seen Halleck? Yeah, and he looked pissed. Said something about running out of time and that he was gonna talk to Commander Vool. Hey, you hear that? I'm on my way to Vool. Why is Halleck talking to the Sentinels? He's up to something. Ugh. Imagine where we All right, guys, that'll end this episode. Uh, remember to give me a discuss, and we're going to jump right into the next action one uh, right now.